Hey, no, no, no. Yeah. It, was it was your idea. Did you was like, you yeah, didn't, didn't want the diversity. You, you, you didn't want yeah. the diversity. Yeah, I didn't want it. But look, you didn't want the crowd to be like, oh, I don't know. I did that because look, hey, that makes sense though. Yeah, because I didn't want to feel like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want nobody to feel like they got cheated because it ain't really no real judges here. You know what I'm saying? So I was like. Bro, I did not know these motherfuckers gonna fight for right? Man, that was the I most ain't. man. Y'all made history. Y'all made it. history. Y'all did yeah. shit. The pros ain't doing. The pros ain't fighting that hard, man. That's what this shit about. Uh, that shit crazy. What, what would you rate Trigger Trey on the scale of one to ten as a fighter? Now you got to fight him a ten. I respect him. I'm gonna give him a ten. He gave me the best fight, the hardest fight I done ever had. So I'm gonna give him a ten. I can, I can, I can be man enough to say that. Respect. Respect. I'll give him a ten too. I'll give, I'll give his heart a ten. I'll give his fight a ten. I'll give that dog in him a ten. His, his skill set. Y'all was gonna still be fighting right now. Yeah, we, we still be in there going out if we really want for the cramping, bro. It's like. That guy helps shit serious though. Being the child did 28 rounds, man. That's something that's never been done. I don't even think they did that in professional boxing. Hang on, hey. That's back in the 1920s, bro. That's back in the 1920s. They ain't did 28 rounds since the 1920s. You stop, you stop falling for shit. I said, he was like, bro, he ain't falling for it. Y'all, y'all both, y'all, like I said, y'all was boxing, so it was like came to a point to where like I felt like it was, it was never going to end because it was going nowhere. Yeah, it was going nowhere. And y'all kept it clean. Every round was clean. Every round was clean. It'll be one round where he'll be going off, and then the next round I'll be going off. Then the next round he going off. It was kind of getting like back and forth type it was a shit. Stalemate. So like, yeah, I, like I, I, I was trying to make you in when you was bombing. I was baiting you that you that you yeah, bombing and get tired. Yeah. Once I felt the punch get weaker, I was gonna try to take off. Just bombing, 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 and hey, I was like, "Hey, hey you the tough." By the way, you the okay. toughest white boy I ever seen in my life. My man's got no abs. <laughs> Took everybody shot. What was the toughest part of the fight? <laughs> hey man, the toughest part of the fight for me was trying to. Trying to figure out a time that uppercut, bro. So I say like the first four rounds, five rounds, whatever round I got dropped in after that, I was like, all right, nigga, time to uh, get get your goddamn IQ going and do what you're supposed to do. And use your brain. Stop putting your head down. Stand straight up and fight, man. Hey, he dazed the fuck out of me. Shit. What about you, Trey? I got to stand in eight count. I ain't doing no trip. Or I feel like. When I land a good shot, and it would look like he hurt. He come right back, and then he's sticking that jab real good. That jab was solid. It was a tough time trying to move around it and figure out what my next move was gonna be. Everywhere I moved, when he threw that jab, it was damn near hitting me every time. Like uh, that jab was probably the toughest part. He got a good solid jab. So was this fight what you expected, or was it way more than you expected? Nah, it was more than I expected. I swear to God, I ain't gonna lie. Before the fight even started, I was like, Man. he gonna be tired by the third. Y'all on another man, level I'm now. Get him out of there by six. Once, once like the 10th round came, I'm like, we pressed uh, him like, twice. We four pressed, rounds past what I said, I'm twice, bullshitting. Like, like, go. I said, damn, this nigga not going, bro. Yeah. <laughs> once we, once we got to like 18, I'm like, to the basics. <laughs> let's start over. Hey, 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 go hey soon, on my mama, on my soul, this is my first fight ever. Hey, you ain't had your coach too, yeah. but every fight I done ever had, I done had Coach D and Coach Trent in my corner, man. This is my first fight. Ever without my coach. And you stayed composed and too. It really was hard for me because I'm really thinking like, man, what is Coach D going to tell me to do? What is Coach D? Wherever you fucking up at, that's what Coach D going to tell you, you know what I'm saying, what you need to fix. And I'm just trying to catch myself, telling myself, man, come on, bro. Think about what Coach D would be telling you where you fucking up at. And I feel like I wasn't moving enough, you know what I'm saying? I was standing still, standing in front of him, being a target too much, you know what I'm saying? So it's my first fight fighting without my coach. So, you know what I'm saying? Hey, and I respect you for because you did the same thing, yeah, yeah. which hey. is ironic that it happened like that because you came down here without no coach. So right. I was like, shit, fuck it, nigga. It's, yeah, it's yeah. even, nigga. Hey, so yeah. Trey, how much of a difference, you know what I'm saying, do it make when you fighting somebody else backyard? Then y'all did 28 rounds, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what was that guy? Like, well, I, I mean, the anxiety, I wouldn't say it was really anxiety. It's like, it's finding your, your comfortability when going to someone else's backyard. It was, it was easier to get comfortable. Because it's like, okay, we're going to fight till somebody stops. So it's going to be a fair decision. I ain't got to worry about being 100% on every game. Hey, look, you got Wooda right there, nigga. If Wooda wasn't right there, y'all do something. They might call it him. You know what I'm talking about, nigga? Yeah, nigga, what a motherfucking cleaver. Whoever goes, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. That's what I heard.
Well, somebody snatched this nigga wig off right here. Man. They say he a Targaryen. Who? You a Targaryen looking ass nigga. You know what I'm talking about, nigga? Where y'all dragging that nigga? Tell Khalees I say what's up, nigga. Y'all talking about, nigga? Hey, what's going on, bro? Good fight, man. <laughs> hell of a fight, boy. I ain't lying. How you feel about the guns down, gloves up, gloves down, gloves up, 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 gloves up,